investigator Jason Knowles tonight with a heartbreaking message from the mother of a girl killed by an alleged distracted driver. Jason. Cheryl, don't do it. That's the message from the mother of a victim and police. April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, but it's a problem all year round. In fact, the I-Team found distracted drivers getting ticketed by police. You see it all of the time. Drivers holding their phones and not the wheel or texting while they're supposed to be looking at the road. If they're lucky, they'll just get a ticket. But police say it's dangerous and leads to crashes. Maisha Singleton tragically knows the dangers all too well. It was a uh, disbelief almost because it could have been avoided. You know, and that's what hurts the most. In the fall of 2021, Singleton's four-year-old daughter, Violet, had just started preschool here at Whittier Elementary School in Harvey. Police say she was on a swing set when the driver of a car veered off the road and onto the playground. Violet was a very spicy little girl. She was the light of everyone's life. The driver, Swahila Vahora, is charged with reckless homicide and being on her cell phone while she was driving. Authorities say they received data from the cellular provider and advanced algorithms to pinpoint the location and time. The suspect's family posted bond. Vahora has pleaded not guilty and has been released as the court case proceeds. There's the phone. Had their phone in their hand to their ear. The I team went along as wheeling police zeroed in on motorists illegally using their phones. A total of 200 local law enforcement agencies are doing the same throughout the state of Illinois as part of a distracted driving awareness month safety campaign. Within 45 minutes, Sergeant Rick Richardson pulled over three drivers. When your vehicle's moving, you can't be on your phone, okay? People don't really realize the severity of what they're doing, and it's extremely dangerous. And even if you're just taking your eyes off the road for a second, that's when rear end collisions happen. An average of eight people are killed every day in the U.S. due to distracted driving. That's according to the National Safety Council. Texting while driving is considered the most dangerous distraction. Using one hand to hold the phone is also a danger. I saw you've got a good driving record. I am going to write a local citation. It's a $50 fine, but it does not affect your license in any way. With a clean driving record, Sergeant Richardson decides the $50 warning fine will do in this case. He could have issued a moving violation using a state law, which affects a driver's record and comes with a $164 fine. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. and use this as a teaching moment to bring it to his attention that he shouldn't be using his phone when he's driving. What if he had a record of doing this before? Then what would happen? I would write the state ticket, absolutely. I'm constantly scanning. Unfortunately, finding another offender only takes minutes. It's not hard to find violators. No. I see a lot more violations than I can actually catch. Please do me a favor, invest in either a Bluetooth or you can even get one of those vent mounts and put it on speakerphone. You can yeah. talk hands-free and that's totally within the, the law. It's okay to wait. You can wait. I thank God for giving me the strength to keep pushing, you know, and I feel through this difficult time, he's using me as right now for a voice for so many people that maybe feel like it'll never happen to them. Police say drivers who don't have Bluetooth in their car should consider buying an inexpensive mount for their smartphone. Remember, you need to be hands-free. Alan, you can also just wait until you're at the destination to make that call or return that text. Something to think about. Yeah, Jason, like she said, it's okay to wait. Keep that in mind. Now tonight at the House of